Good morning. So, in a week, I am heading off on at least a six month trip. Um, after recently buying a house, it would be silly not to rent it out and to have someone else cover the mortgage while I'm gone. Um, and to take care of the place, I would feel better with someone in here and I want someone to be able to enjoy my space. Um, so the last three weeks have been hectic, just like trying to get that ready because there's so much more to it than I would have thought and so much more that I needed to do to the house to be able to get it ready to be able to rent out. Um, little things, but little things that took me forever and I eventually ended up giving up and just hiring people to do them for me because I like to think that I'm an independent woman and I'm capable of doing these things, and I am, but I'm just as capable of hiring someone else to do them, which takes so much stress out of it and I was like, why did I not do that earlier? So I hired a builder and a painter um, to come in and do a couple of the things that, yeah, I just were just a little bit too much for me to be able to do in time. Um, painting one of them, I can't believe how slow I am at it. I thought I was, you know, average and then a painter came in and did like everything in three days that I'd been trying to do in six months and still hadn't done. So, whoops, but good. Um, yeah, so this vlog is going to just be about things that I didn't know I needed to do. Oh, sorry, you're all the way down there. Things that I didn't know I needed to do in order to get my house ready to rent out. Um, yes, yeah, so it's a week today that I'll be leaving and I haven't even had a realtor come. The realtor's coming today to, I don't know, go over everything with me to suss out the place. And so I have to like do a, a big clean, um, and just there's a bunch more things that I, I want to have done by then. <sighs> so I've been out every day this for the, like the last month at at least six usually like before that um just and straight into it like i haven't even been waking up and meditating and doing yoga like i normally do or working out I, or going to the beach i mean waking up and getting stuck into stuff and i don't know how by the end of the day i feel like i still haven't accomplished anything this is it's going to be another long week actually i think the opposite i think this week is just going to fly by and i'm going to be like where did that go i need more time um but yeah so i just put together i just put together some clothes railing things these babies so there's two of them there oh um, so these are going into the, I'm putting one of the rooms as like a storage room. I've like got the builder to come in and lock that off and then I repainted the thing. Um, so this is just going to be a storage room so that I don't have to move absolutely everything out again because that would be hard. These are all the clothes that I need to put on Depop. Look at how many there are. <sighs> but I'm going to have to do that when I get home because I'm not going to have time. Um, so I set up the office. Sorry, it's a bit messy. Um, it's not that messy, but you know. It feels messy just because it's electrical cords and stuff. Um, but I love this office, so that's cool. I have to clear out the bookshelf. I have to clear out the kitchen. And I got some new paintings as well. How beautiful are these? So this one's an original. These two are originals as well, I believe. This one's a print, um, but I'm obsessed. So they're by an Indigenous artist, Natalie Jade. I've followed her on Instagram for so, so long, and it feels so good to be able to actually, yeah, support her and get some paintings in this house. And I, I love that they're, um, like, they tie in well with the furniture and stuff like that. Um, and so these were silver. I've just spray painted them black. They're the lights. But, oh, that's not the light, never mind. Um, yeah, the light like comes through them because they're little holes. I don't know if you can see that, yeah. Um, but I don't actually use lights at night in this place. So I'm gonna hang, I think that one up here because I think the black in that will go well with the black in that and then obviously the pink and a little orange will be like a color pop. And then these two little ones, I'm thinking, Either I can hang one here or this bag can go there, which was there. And then I hung this one up in here, which used to be out in the living room. And then I just hung a, like a poster on this side. Um, spare room. I could put one up either there or above the bed, but I'm thinking I actually want to put one there. 
but I hope it doesn't get wet by the shower. That's the only thing. Or, so, <laughs> told you, my life is a mess right now. Or there. But I think it might be too big there. So we'll see how we go. But anyway, um, I've got a lot to do today. A lot to do this week. Um, and I'll, yeah, bring you along for little snippets of it. Got to get back into it for now, though. Let you slip, yeah. <laughs> So it's really not centered, but it needed to be there because the stud is where it is. And if it was a little bit that way, then there wouldn't have been in a stud. And that's not good. So glamorous. Paint got on the tiles, so I gotta scour it off and then clean it all up. Domestic goddess! I really don't think it matters if it's not perfect. I can't wait to renovate this place one day and make it absolutely amazing, immaculate, beautiful, wonderful. Until then, I'm still walling floors. Hey, Bear. Yeah. We're killing it. We're killing it? Yeah. Hey, Amen. Look, I did it. Hey, SJ. I did it. Hey, Sky Bear. I love you. Oh, that's not on right. I love you more. No, you are not first. No! <laughs> no! Well, that needs to be replaced, doesn't it? I cut my fringe again. Yeah, it's shorter. Those should hold. Ugh. Not right. Good. Wait, did I nail that? I literally nailed that. Okay, good morning, good morning, send help. Yes, I'm wearing the same shirt as I have been wearing for the past three, maybe four days now. No, only three days. Three days, I feel like, is probably the max limit that I can reach. Um, have I been doing absolutely everything in this shirt with, before washing it? Yes, it stinks. But I really don't care at this point. I feel disheveled, but inspired. I think I secretly thrive in chaos, and therefore I secretly love it, because who doesn't like thriving? My to-do lists have been redonkulous. Like, I'm sorry, this was yesterday's. Are you aware? Wow. Most of which just like continues day to day because um, half of it doesn't get done or more than half of it doesn't get done. Today is my youngest neighbor's birthday. He's turning 10. So I have to go and give him a little present. It's a crystals. It's crystals, he loves crystals. Um, I'm going to work out, I'm going to do the washing, I've got to clean downstairs because renting out that part as well and I haven't used it at all and it just, it's gross. So I've got to go through and clean it all and then rehang curtains, which I bought the curtains for it. And not that you guys asked any of this, I just thought I'd tell you because why the hell not? And I have to rehang a door and I have toilet paper roll because the toilet paper roll hang up broke. Wee hey, little birdie. Um, I have to move the mower and the snipper from, well, everything out of the shed into the storage, like the lockable storage, because I think I'm including gardening in the rent. I had no idea that you could even do that. Where's my coffee? I need a coffee. I'll be back. I got my phone. Okay. I also have to get pictures of downstairs and upstairs. Um, with most of my stuff gone for like realtor photos to, for them to be able to put it up online when I'm away 
I have to cancel all the electricity and the Wi-Fi because that's up to the new tenants to be able to do. Hey, little floofer. Hello. Good morning. Yes, I'll come and say hello in a little bit. I have bird friends. Every day. I love it. I feel like Snow White. Um, I have to grout tiles, so I have to like de-grout the tiles that are currently there. Oh, it's Sky Bear. Sell it by the cup. Hello, love. Hello, Poppet. Hello, Poppet. What are we doing? Good sleep in? I had a fabulous sleep in. I needed it, although most of which it wasn't actually sleeping in, it was just like laying in. You know what I mean? Oh. <laughs> it was 8 o'clock already. Was I supposed to sleep after 8 o'clock? Okay, I've also got to pack my bag. I've got to get the quote for the gardener to the realtor. I've got to put my sheets back on my bed and on the couch as well as mattress protectors because I bought mattress protectors because I, I don't know how I feel about people sleeping directly on my mattress, but anyway. Is that something that anyone else is weird about or is that just me? Like I don't question it when I go to like Airbnbs or hotels or whatever and I'm not thinking to myself, oh my God, there's been so many people sleep on this mattress. But having like one other person sleep on my mattress, oh my God. <sighs> Look at this cake. <laughs> Is that birthday cake? Is that Jay's birthday cake? Is that birthday cake? This kid, hey. Scared the bejeebus out of me. <laughs> and then emails and I've got to contact all these companies. So I'm going to get to it. You want to come say hey? I'm making a vlog. G'day. G'day. Welcome to Australia. It? This is your typical grom. <laughs> so you have <laughs> always smiling, always out in the surf. Yep. Wears a hat that's filthy. Yep. Um, cigarette neckline from yep. surfing, even in winter. Better show them your feet. Because <laughs> kids here. <laughs> hey, that's pretty flexy. Uh, kids in Australia do not wear shoes. Like, well, I don't. Well, I didn't either. I feel like most kids don't, do they? It's in there for Just ages. us didn't wear shoes, and our feet are always gross. Even my feet are gross now. That's mine. Yeah, you're the worst. Where's your phone? Out here. Oh. Next to my coffee. Oh, it's so hot today. No. <laughs> nice. No, I have updates for you. Yep. Okay, good. All right. I'm going to the desk. You want to make my bed for me? No. Here you go. Just chilling in my new bed. <laughs> no! Stop it! The day's well and truly commenced. I don't know what time it is, what time is it? Almost midday. And I haven't even worked out or done yoga yet. So, even though it's almost winter, it's a very beautiful day. So I put in my teenies. Gonna go do a workout in the sunshine. And then get back into cleaning. Woo! Right after I'm doing my brunch mm. perfect might need some lime I have a lime tree how convenient ta da <laughs> insert lime montage I don't know how people do this angle without getting their tripod legs in it <laughs> maybe if I zoom in oh I zoom in I zoom in zoom Ta-da! Oh, but my feet. <laughs> I hate my feet. Oh well. Let's roll with it. Ooh. 
Okay, so I worked out. I work out. I changed my clothes. I haven't showered, so these ones are gonna smell just as bad, but they don't yet. Maybe I should just put in deodorant. I'll be back. Okay, we're back. I think they call that a farmer's shower when you just put on deodorant and I just used essential oils. I think sometimes people just like spray themselves or shower themselves in perfume, which is bad. If you're using perfume, um, I'm not gonna tell you what to do, but you should be aware of exactly the chemicals that are inside of perfumes and what exactly you're putting into your skin because their skin is our largest organ and it's absorbent and so you're still getting all of these carcinogens and chemicals into your bloodstream, into your system um, without even being aware of it most of the time. So I only use essential oils um, as like a smell good perfumey thing and I always get told that I smell good except for when I smell bad like right now. But anyway, that's beside the point. Siri. Set an alarm for an hour and a half. That's when my dry is done. Thanks, sis. Let's go put the mower and the snipper in the storage and then clean downstairs again. Stoked. This is gonna be like a really long, oh, hiccup, random vlog. Like there is no purpose to this. You're just watching it for the sake of pure entertainment or boredom, more likely boredom or accident. It's more likely that you stumbled upon this accidentally. But either way, I'm glad you're here. Let's do this together now. Woo! All right, we are now downstairs. Welcome to the downstairs part of my home, which I have not used ever since being here because it used to smell like cigarettes and I didn't like it at all. Um, and it also seems like dark and dingy to me, like that's the bathroom. I don't know if you can see that well, but... And the kitchen needs some serious love and it's tiny but it is like a unity thing so anyway i've got to clean all this out that is the mission for this afternoon hang some more things up i had doors fixed and shaved off hence all of the shoes on the floor um yeah wish me luck you can come along for the ride so we're gonna start right here i'm gonna sleep it's just a day another day what owning your own home has been, at least for me, living here all on my own. I never, ever, ever in my wildest dreams could have, um, yeah, guessed the amount of time and energy and effort you spend into maintaining it, let alone cleaning it. So I hung some curtains, I cleaned out the door frames, took off that door so that I can spray it out. Look how gross it is. And then, look at this. This is the worst part. I have to use turps because the guy that lived down here before me was a chain smoker. And there's like, see, that's not just like yellow stain. It is cigarette stain. It actually comes off. Like, it's so gross. Can I be your cameraman? Yeah, man. And, um, because I don't leave my house. Yeah. Good morning. Hey. Is it gonna go on your arm? Is it gonna go on my arm? Come on. Come on, step up. Good okay, good morning. It's bright and early and I woke up with one bung eye. What is with this? What? Look, it's like this eyelid goes in, this eyelid goes out. What did I do? Um, yeah, so it's early. I went to bed late because I was up talking to a girlfriend who needed girl chat after a breakup. 
It's only got like four and a half hours sleep. And I gotta do Wow, that looks so funny. Eh. Because let's be honest, what would you rather be doing at 6.30 in the morning than painting a door that you didn't know needed it? Oh, that's satisfying though. That is satisfying. You know, I will admit though, this is the first time that Yeah, this is the first time that I am, um, I don't know, I am not nervous about traveling with a partner. Like, I'm, I'm, this sounds really bad to say, but I normally have a safe haven. Like, I keep my place that I can come back to and retreat to when I feel like I'll need time away from them. Sounds really bad, but it's true. That's what I've done. And I, I'm getting rid of my place and I don't have that safe haven and I feel so good about it. Just interesting to, to witness and to feel. Anyway. did it. I hung these curtains, I hung these curtains, and I re-hung these curtains. And I've just got to hang these are hooks to put that cabinet back on, hopefully. And then downstairs is done. Shoes are drying. to just the kitchen now. Is my eye any better? I can't tell. Um, yeah, pretty much just got the kitchen left to do and I have to itemize everything um, that, I've, that I'm leaving as well. But the kitchen is gonna be the biggest job, I think, because I've not only got to go through everything and take away the things that I you know, don't want to break and therefore won't leave or like potentially have broken, you know what I mean? Um, and cleaning everything at the same time whilst clearing out everything in like the pantry and storing that away. So uh, this will definitely be the biggest job. All right, I did it. This is how it's being left. All done. I can't believe I did that. All right, let's look up and go.